blessing to my pretty KB. And I am contestant number five for Miss Philanthropy Nigeria 2020. I'm 19 years old from Delta State and I'm here to speak on the platform I will be working on if I get the opportunity to win Miss Philanthropy 2020. Well, my platform will be focused on helping and assisting girls and children, the less privileged of My platform will be focused on girls and children. It wouldn't just be um, providing materials or foodstuffs, it will also be impacting knowledge on them. Um, first of all, I will be talking on the children. Um, children are gifts from God, you know. We have children who are in the orphanage home, the motherless baby home, and we could go there. I, if I am crowned Miss Philanthropy Nigeria, or if I am given the opportunity to win, we could go there and provide some basic things for the homes. Um, we could provide food stores, we could provide clothes, we could get used toys, you know, we could get toys give it to the children we could enroll them in school now when i say enrolling them i don't mean enrolling everybody but we could go with a fixed figure like okay we have a goal to enroll six or ten children in basic level because most of these children they do not go to school and most children need children need basic level education and we can do that by providing basic level education or enrolling few children you know, within our, our ability and capacity for school to get basic level education. There are also children who um, haven't been opportune to write basic six exams. You know, they are all over schools. We could go there and go to the school authorities and tell them, sir, please, where are the children who you know are from less privileged homes, whose parents cannot afford paying for the enrollment for their basic level exams? And we could pay for these things. We're not paying for everybody, but we're picking people with special needs and assisting them. It will be of great assistance to them, to their parents, to the society, and to us. It will put a big smile on our faces. And enrolling them. There are children in public schools who do not have good school bags, good sandals. Um, even good school uniforms, we can still go to the school authorities and ask them, please, we are deciding to um, make um, 20 pieces of school uniforms for children that do not have good school uniforms. We are providing bags or giving out bags to children who do not have school bags. Now, when we do this, children will find school fun. And children, you know, they're easily enticed to those things. So we can do that to make them happy. It puts a beautiful smile on their face, which would definitely make me super happy. And we could go by providing crayons for those in kindergartens in public schools. You know, those in kindergartens. And make learning fun and creative for them. You know, go to the basic level and provide mathematical sets. Now, we could go to orphanage homes and get them food wares. You know? stops and those things will make them happy we would feed them in our own little way providing food in our own little way now making education fun and giving them an education by enrolling few number of children and um, that would be lovely and if i am opportunity to be queen i would best basically take it upon myself to work on that platform that is my platform and um you know just put a smile on children's face and 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 return to society it will be lovely and on the part of the girls um being a girl is a beautiful thing you know um our body morphology is beautiful you know the body and everything you know being a woman means you're strong being a girl means you're strong now we have to tell our girls because there are lots of girls who are going through a lot even though they don't say it even though they don't we can go and talk to those girls educate them on certain things on how to take care of themselves on how to take care of themselves based on feminine hygiene you know there are children female girls of oh, sorry female children who haven't gone through puberty yet now we can educate them on 
those areas because there are most parents who don't even educate their children on these things we can take it up i will take it up for myself to go to schools and educate girls on that you know and there are other girls who you know they've probably been through puberty but they do not take care of themselves we can provide um menstrual parts yes we can provide body spray that is something that it's something that not not everybody does or we can provide them um body spray fragrance to keep contain body body order or we can teach them how to which we can educate them on how to carry themselves as beautiful women and ladies i will take that upon myself if i am opportune to bring this philanthropy nigeria 2020 um i would definitely love to empower girls too because <laughs> i have massive chance for girls to empower girls because it's still as important as getting an education you know there are girls who whose parents you know have not my not have have enough to give them the proper education now we can do this things by telling them on how to on how to acquire a skill you know we could pick few number of girls they must not be everybody most not sorry but rather it mustn't be a ton of girls we could go in for a fixed number maybe two three four you know because of font <laughs> we could enroll them in a three month um skill acquisition program it could be tailoring it could be makeup artistry it could be something that will help them get a it could be something that will help them get a brighter future tomorrow it will save them from the perks of prostitution social vices in the society you know a lot of things save them from from human trafficking you know from being sex slaves and and being vulnerable and by doing that we would we would give them hope a lot lots and lots of hope i'm super it. give them hope and yeah that is my platform thank you for listening god bless thank you